Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of the Rebel Super Bowl. Um, is it the Super Bowl? I, don't, I think it is. Um, Infinite Pink with his Nurgle team, Infection Inc. versus Bleeding Hippie with his Chaos Dwarf team, Snow White and the Six Chorfs. Uh, Bleeding Hippie, they, they, both, they both played in Division 2 actually with an 8-3-2 record. Um, same goal difference even, touchdown difference. And uh, Hippie was widely considered uh, by myself as the uh, as the favourite for this competition. I don't know if other people thought he was the favourite or not. Um, but he, you know, he's there. Um, you know, he made it the final, as we can see. They've both got a wizard. Uh, there's no there's no financial fair play rules or anything in Rebel, so they've both got a wizard. Um, and Infinite Pink has a bribe and a babe as well. You can see the development wise, we've got Hippie here, we've got Clop on there, Clop on there, both with Pro, Edge Forge, Box Your Hands Carrier, Lodge Break Tackle Tackle, Lodge Break Tackle, Frenzy Jugs, you know, a couple of really nice bulls, <laughs> two Pom Guard Warriors, I mean, blockers. He's got a really, really, really good team. Um, Infection Inc. Only three warriors. I don't know if this was a miss next game or a dead warrior, to be honest. Um, only three Pestigors. One of which only has Mighty Blow. Um, clear, clear favourite in terms of players is Hippie here. One reserve. Nurgle have three reserves. So, you know, if they get, if they get their fouling boots on with this dirty player... Um, Nice ball carrier. You know, decent beast. Something could happen. Ooh, throw a rock. Oh my god. Oh, that is huge. What a, what a start. Oh my god. Badly hurt, the brilliant ball carrier. Well, oh, that's going to make a drive a lot harder, isn't it? Wow. Brutal. So... We rejoin the action on turn three, and already um, Hippie has cast the Beast of Nurgle and knocked out a warrior, so things are going downhill for Infinite Pink here. He kind of got the ball up the side, now he's moving back, back around to the centre, obviously got to watch out for these bulls, it's uh, tricky. Right, so now... It's Hippie's turn four, and uh, the ball is somewhat exposed here. I mean, he hasn't got any players left. Um, Infinite Pink's team has been absolutely smashed to pieces here. That's a guy cast regen. Another, another couple regen is sent off. Absolutely murdered. Hippie can recover it now as well. Will he, will he go for it? No, he didn't have the reroll, so he didn't didn't risk the go for it and plus the game's completely under control now isn't it I'll never I'll never forget Hippie for uh, pitch clearing me in the in the uh, UK BBL final that we played and uh, it looks like he's he's taken this final form to rebel as well no oh. a GFI fail just to add insult to injury and Hippie hasn't even used his wizard to get to this point as well Oh god. So surely, surely he'll get the ball off him here because he can chain him into an additional block, into another additional block. And um, if he runs around a little bit. Does he does he risk the dodge here? I don't know. Oh he's he's got this guy as well, off oh, frenzy. But then that would be a GFI, so he, he can't be going. He must just be going for the claw palm hit. But the claw palm hit can't chain him into an additional block. So he could just. Nah, he can't blitz without block. He can make it three dice, though. Yeah. Yeah, three dice into an additional three dice. That's that's the safest, most sensible play. Yeah, use a reroll on that block. 
The only bad thing is that he's pushing him free here on a push, isn't it? A little bit free. He's got he's got a chance to score if it's a push. Ah, he gets the he gets the board down and keep him keep him contained. <laughs> but uh looking bad. And there you go, he fails the dodge. And that's all she wrote. Ball in the crowd. Well, depending on where this ends up, that might that probably gonna make it hard for Hippie to score now at least. Okay, and here we are, turn eight. Hippie's got the ball. There's nobody left standing on the uh, <laughs> Well there's about to be nobody left standing on the Nurgle team. And uh yeah, he's absolutely murdered. Hippie's taken no damage at all really with the apple. Usage, another pile on hit, defenseless player. An absolutely brutal. One nil hippie. Now he's receiving. Both sides have got a wizard, but uh the player advantage is likely to be insurmountable. Riot is no big, no big whoop really. Eleven versus ten, bunch of hits. All right, turn fourteen. The fight, the lightning bolt comes in, and oh, he fails the first dice roll. This is this is a scoring threat, isn't it? <laughs> he's waddling off with his rotter, and I guess he's going to dodge and try and pass it to him. <laughs> oh dear. No, oh, he failed it. Right, so, turn 16, he's actually double marked. So he's going to have to make a dodge here, isn't he? There was no way to chain push him. <laughs> and he failed it. He failed the show if he blitz. But of course he doesn't have to score. And there's no scoring threat for the Nurgle. So... That's all she wrote. A 1 0 win for Hippie. And absolutely murdered Infinite Pink's team. And took hardly any damage himself. Just one, one injury here. Yeah, 1 0 win. Uh, 32 blocks of 22. Fuck has 4k. I mean, he absolutely hammered him, didn't he? And got them early when it counted. Loads of SPPs. Um. You know, there's in a way there's not a lot of not a point of looking at the dices because the dice rolls always kind of even out over the course of a match, you know. Um to an extent. You can you can kind of I guess the uh block dice are somewhat wow, they were really skewed. Lots of lots of skulls for a hippie there. <laughs> lots of skulls. But um usually <laughs> <laughs> they kind of even out, but here that that is an incredible amount of skulls for him, that he rolled. But um, didn't really matter because he got the uh, armor breaks and the removals. So there you go. Congrats to Hippie. Thanks for watching and stay fantastic.